Hi, I'm Katie Mihalik, and today we're talking with Melvin Morrows about his book, I Confess, Diary of an Australian Pope. Hi, Melvin. Hi, Katie. Great to be talking to you. So tell me how you became a writer. Well, um, a million years ago, when I was 20, I started writing scripts for a very popular Australian TV satiric program, and they were accepted, and I found that I was earning... Uh, three times as much money from television than I was from teaching English. Uh, <laughs> so I kept writing and uh, here we are today. Have you always wanted to be a writer? I can't not be a writer. Yeah. It's not a matter of wanting, it's a matter of being. That's amazing. Okay, so you were writing for television. Did you say you were an English teacher also? The background to I Confess is I spent 47 years teaching <clears throat> with Jesuits. Then I had the good fortune to teach in France and in England for 14 years and then in Australia. So I've, I've looked at three different kinds of Catholic Jesuit culture and I've met uh, quite a lot of priests, including one very important one who eventually became the Vatican correspondent for the tablet. So uh, we had a lot of dinners and a lot of conversations. Man, can I, I wish I could have been just a, you know, a voyeuristic viewer during those conversations. You, you, you can be by reading the book. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true, right? There you go. So very good point. Look for Melvin Morrow's new book, I Confess, Diary of an Australian Pope at henrygraypublishing.com or ask for it at your favorite neighborhood bookstore. Until next time, happy reading, everyone.